Hey, how are you doing? We're all right? Hey. Who, wants to, who likes comedy? Hey. You're going to be severely disappointed. Sorry. So, uh, my name's uh, Lewis King, and uh, I like it. I think it's a pretty good name. Um, I just, it's got this great vibe to it. Lou is King. I decided I wanted to do I wanted to do a stand up. Um, I don't know. I guess I kind of wanted to do it for ages. But when I was when I was younger, I sort of like around sort of fifteen or something like that. I started getting into like you know watching comedy and stuff like that. And I think I remember I remember there was this one moment one time uh, when we were in like the, the hall or something, and we had everybody in there, and they were asking us, "What do you want to do in the future?" And they'd write it down in a bit of paper and. And then they were like, and I remember writing down, oh, um, I'd quite like to be a comedy writer. And I wrote it in the smallest handwriting, covering it up because I was embarrassed. I didn't want anyone to look at it. Yeah, I've, I've, I've done these um, sort of uh, with Lewis series, which are sort of like sketches kind of thing. They're not, um, they're, well, I'd say they are sketches, they film things, but they're basically just a lot of jokes just bunched up together. Because I'm not really good at sort of the structuring of sketches, and that's the thing I'm still working on. But I think with something like that that I've, I've filmed, like um, one of the first one I did, we, we were just in York, and I just basically ad libbed some stuff whilst going around some plants. So here's uh, one of my uh, favourite spots in the garden, um, near the uh, snow, the snow petal flowers. Um, unfortunately, it is quite near a busy road, but once you ignore the busy road. Um, you can admire these uh, wonderful uh, flowers here and uh, you know, yes, uh, they do look like they're made of uh, snow but um, they've actually made a marzipan. I filmed a few sort of sketches with friends and stuff like that so I kind of did sketches before stand-up but then I, that was when I was sort of in that kind of I'd like to be a comedy writer mindset. Is everyone now truly equal? Why is everything gay these days? Has the world kept up with changes in the world? We'll find out in this investigation, if you will. Before finally uh, coming out the closet and going, yes, I would love to do stand-up. Ha ha ha, listen to me, aren't I hilarious? No. I, I like my name, and I think it's got good potential for uh, kids' names in the future. So with uh, King, I think I could call a child uh, Lee, Lee King, which uh, amuses me because it sounds a little bit like a we. What kind of um, advice would you give, like, say, someone well, starting out? Well, uh, the advice that I would give somebody starting out, apart from don't do it with all, is, um, is uh, we don't need the competition, stop it. Uh, <laughs> become a teacher, we need teachers. Um, the advice that I would give is, uh, Find, you've got to find a balance between testing out material and working out how to say the material, right? So the two things you have to have as a comic is good material and the technique to be able to tell that material. Get as much experience as, as possible doing, yeah, open spots, writing as much as you can. Um, so try and, and, and get to a stage where you've got a really good sort of 10, 15 minutes. The only way to practice stand-up is actually in front of an audience. Mm. So. So know this, you will fail, right? There's no way oh, around no, that. No, you will absolutely fail. <laughs> Not only will you fail, I will fail. And every other, and the, your favourite comic, uh, the next time they write a show, will fail. They will go out with, with one of these notebooks in front of an audience and they'll say some stuff to that. <laughs> Even No matter how big they are, no matter how hilarious the audience find them in, in the rest of their sort of, uh, you know, their career, when they see fully formed shows, no matter how grateful the audience are to see them as a tryout gig, eventually the audience will just start to judge the material on the material. That comic will fail because that's the nature of it, right? So know that. That's the first thing. You will fail as part of the process. Can you remember the uh, first gig you did? Yes, very, very, very well. Uh, it was not a fun experience. Well, mine was all right, but I think it was How many times have you done? Once, twice? Uh, more? Three. <laughs> three times, okay. And, yeah. Uh, so tell me, when, what, what was the first one you did? Where, where did you do that? Um, it was uh, in uh, Leeds, I think, in okay. Chapel Allerton. Uh -huh. And it's because um, they did like a little, um, there was like a, um, in, uh, do you know, Headley? 
yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. there was like a literature festival going on, and uh-huh. I was having a look at that because I like do English at uni yeah. and stuff. I was like, oh, that would be good. And I just yeah. saw stand up comedy, like click on that. It was like yeah. a little workshop thing, and I got, just got me to come Oh, okay. So that. it was like you so it was just from that. Then. For the day, yeah, and then yeah. you do a gig in the evening. That's um, sort of thing. Well, no, it was like a sort of a few weeks after the guy. Because oh, really? I mean, he wasn't, he sort of says it like kind of amateurish. So I think yeah. he's like a teacher as well. But the first proper gig I did was in. Um, Chapel Allerton or something like that. So it's a guy who ran that, uh, has a little sort of sketch group going. He had a show and he said, oh, you know, in the in the, uh, the sort of halfway break thing, you can do a five minute slot. Um, and I was the only one who did it in the end. How did you find it, that first one? I thought the, uh, the gig? Yeah. Um, it was good. I was, it was really like exciting, you know, when yeah. you, you do it at quite big relief. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. then when you did it again, it was outside of the context of that course. You did it in sort of a real. Yeah. Group. Well, you can't. Well, I think it was the third one was more like because I saw okay. there was um, a like a open mic night in yeah. Lincoln back when I go home. When oh I was yeah, home. yeah, yeah. Um, and I was like, oh, need to go with that. My mate does like uh, music and stuff, so I uh-huh. pulled him along, and we ended up doing that. And I got like my uh, girlfriend, which is a bit of a weird situation. Yeah. Um, and I ended up doing like about 10 minutes when I just had like five minutes before. So yeah. I don't know how I've managed that. Obviously, just rambling rubbish, I think. But it's good yeah. though when you yeah, go, yeah. okay, it's possible to do this. There was um, a charity one they did at the SU, which um, was a few weeks ago. Um, and that went really well. I think it was the first situation I had where I kind of got heckled because for some reason I said, oh, say whatever ginger insult you want. I, I mean, I've had it a lot now, but uh, I'm, I'm, pre- I'm pretty used to it. I'm, I'm, I'm used to it, you know? You could just shout, you know, what's it, head, at me, and I'll take it in my stride. Yeah, yeah, totally. I, I actually didn't hear that. I thought you called me Gareth then. <laughs> <laughs> and I generally didn't hear them, um, so I just said whatever, um, and I was after, after just going, oh, was that the first heckle I had? So but I don't think it was a proper one. Maybe at some point I'll get people sh- hurling abuse and throwing cups and stuff, but hopefully not yet. I'm not quite ready for it yet. Um, if people can ask me lately, what do you think you're gonna do after university? And I think, yeah, I might do a postgrad, but I think I'm gonna do it in puppetry, because then I will be master of puppets. The feeling you get on the stage, uh, it's a mix of all sorts of things, like complete nerves and excitement, I guess you kind of get that sort of fight or flight kind of thing. Generally, when I'm doing it, I'm just trying to basically hope that I remember, that I can remember what I can say. And usually I will have had to look at my hand and stuff, and I think I've done it pretty much every time so far. But hopefully the more I do it, the more I'll be able to remember, and it'll just be able to come quite naturally and stuff. Hang on, I've got to refer to the uh, the old questions here. How do you manage to remember everything? Uh, well, by first of all, by when I, when I start yeah. the show with those, there'll be a, there'll be a note with me in the over show. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but by the time, it, uh, how do you remember everything? It all takes a shape eventually. Everything sort of takes a shape. It, you do it over a long period of time. It's all incremental. It's not like because when you see the show, it's whatever it is, an hour and a half, an hour and forty-five minutes, and it seems like a feat of memory. But of course, you've, you've built it up slowly over time. I think I'd, I really like, I would really like to be able to do it sort of as a kind of occupation. I mean, everyone's scared that everything's going to collapse at the moment because of the internet and like everyone now except demands that everything must be free and refuse to pay for stuff. Um, so when you go see a lot of live comedy and stuff like that, I think a lot of people feel like they need to encourage that, you know, they always go, thank you very much and always, you know, uh, keep supporting live comedy and stuff. I don't know if it was like that before. I don't know if there was like that scare that it was going to go out. But um, I'd really love to do that. But then there's so many people wanting to do it now. Like everything's competitive and stuff. So if everything's competitive, then maybe I should just do the thing that I want to do, which is that. Uh, well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our journey. It's been a uplifting and a bizarre experience. But I think we've all learned a lot. So um, yeah. We all take time to ponder about this. Anyway, goodbye. Uh, my girlfriend's just finished with me because she said I was too sarcastic, which is a shame because she was so fucking good looking. Here's a bad joke. Um, what did the zombie do when he had a cold? He blew his brains out. Two lions. 
walking down the high street. One turns to the other and says, quiet for a Saturday, isn't it? That is my favourite joke in the world. You're welcome.